How many of you are here because of a personal experience with SIRS? How many of you have a close family member with SIRS? I think I speak for all of us that we're so excited that the number of certified SIRS professionals is going up, that we've got all these other brains to add to the trust to help us with the rational analytic side of things and the synthetic side of things to come up with ideas, hypotheses to test and keep moving this whole thing forward. What we've seen at this conference is a clear indication of where CIRS is headed. We're looking at correction of multi-nuclear atrophy, a bugaboo of the brain. No one has the data that we do. We're looking at collaboration with Alzheimer's researchers. Here is the new discussion of what is disease. Is it just because you have a gene or can you look at gene activation and the lack of control of gene activation? I believe this illness is completely preventable. In the same way that we've, we've almost wiped out uh, measles and polio and things like that because we gave immunizations, which I'm sure were not popular ideas when we first started giving shots to everybody. Now it's 50, 60 years later, we don't even see those diseases. I think that Sears will be completely preventable for the vast majority of people, but you have to know who the ones are who are, who are predisposed. With these new bits of information coming, and these new bits of information be published in the next couple of weeks, all I can tell you is that if you don't know genomics today, you will know it tomorrow, and you'll be an expert the day after. And that's where our field is going in part. If you're a doctor or physician, you won't want to miss out on the amazing discoveries that were shared at the Surviving Mold Conference. Don't worry, if you miss the conference, you'll still have a chance to learn from the doctor's incredible findings. Listen to all 31 speakers, or selectively choose which talk to watch. This way, you can experience the entire conference. From Dr. Richie Shoemaker to Sandeep Gilly. Gupta. We have discussions and we have a doctor's forum and we have regular webinars. Dr. Bredesen's talk on Alzheimer's. We don't have people who understand this illness and treat it appropriately. And so therefore we keep telling everybody it's mysterious, there's nothing you can do, nobody gets better and so forth and so on. And as I'll show you, that's no longer the case and so many more. The discoveries are endless. You've only seen a glimpse of the material that is a small piece of the surviving mold community. As Dr. Shoemaker said, this is for doctors who... Someone who wants to help, someone who wants to be part of the solution, and not just kind of doing the same day-to-day -day grind, work for 30 years and then retire. You won't want to miss these discoveries. You could be helping patients overcome chronic inflammatory response syndrome otherwise known as Sears. Join the doctors already saving lives. Hurry, go to survivingmold.com today to watch the doctor's speeches and experience their discoveries.